hey y'all welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing at home photo shoots it's going to be like a 90s glamour headshot i just got this idea of scrolling on pinterest i was like oh this is so cute and also i've been trying to put more effort into my pictures in general so i can grow my social medias so let's get started so before I started doing anything, I put my backdrop in the dryer, which you're going to see later on in this video that that didn't really help, but I think it was because I put it in there with wet clothes and I let the dryer run for too long, but I digress. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is basically turn my room into my studio. So surprisingly, this was very, very relaxing. Um, I find joy in creating content. But the next thing I'm doing is I'm setting up my background stand. So I got this background stand from Amazon. I think I paid like $35 for it. It's called Emart brand, if anybody's interested. And now I'm feeding my um, I'm feeding my backdrop through the um, hole so it can go through the pole, <laughs> if that makes sense. So the difference between background, like actual backdrops and sheets is that they have this little hole where you can feed your background um, your background pole thing through it and then you can use that as a background i mean you can still use a sheet but i think it's more you know cost effective i think it's easier to use an actual backdrop so now i'm using my steamer to steam my fabric you see how wrinkled it is it looks so so terrible but i ended up getting it done and then you're gonna see in the next clip that yep i'm putting it on the floor another mistake <laughs> um i put this on the floor don't know why um the carpet was an uneven surface so it probably just made it more wrinkled but i came to my senses and just steamed it while it was hanging on the backdrop stand so like look at this angle like use your wide angle lenses y'all i love it So creating texture is something that I just kind of picked up on when I was looking at different photo shoot concepts. Um, creating texture helps your backgrounds to not be so flat and boring. Now I am setting up my lights. So my lighting consists of two ring lights and two LED lights. You're going to see the LED lights when I start adjusting my camera. So now I am adjusting my camera slash my phone. So um here i'm setting up my led lights and you're gonna see in a minute that i actually well first of all i use lens buddy to take my pictures but you can see that i have lens buddy set up so i can have my lights set up for when i take my pictures if that makes sense <laughs> so i set my tripod to the setting that i'm going to use for my pictures and i use that to see like what kind of angles i need to do um what kind of uh what shadows need to be filled because when i start taking pictures i do not like to adjust a whole lot of stuff like i like to have all my stuff set up um and i like to you know just get to snapping like i i don't like trying to adjust anything while i'm in the zone for my photo shoot are this fake bust down watch and this fake cuban link chain i kept the feather boa in this bag the entire time because it sheds so bad like as soon as i took it out of the package uh when i got it from amazon it was shedding so bad so the picture the girl has hers like shoulder length and i considered her tattoos to be her accessories but because i don't have any like tattoos or anything around my neck i'm gonna have this chain 
So now I am on to my um, least and most favorite part of taking pictures. So I'm actually shooting the pictures. Uh, like I said, if I didn't mention already, I use Lens Buddy to take my pictures. And you can see that I'm adjusting my tripod. I'm changing my angles. Well, not really, but um, with Lens Buddy, if you don't know about Lens Buddy, basically it's an app that automatically takes your pictures for you. And this has been a real help since I've been on my like picture taking journey um i'm not on anybody's time and i can just uh take my pictures and go about my business so uh you can see that i use my feather boa i'm just kind of experimenting with different angles i'm kind of adjusting the tripod just a little bit uh so i can have different tweaks of different angles because um if you pay close attention some pictures look better than others just how just based off of how um your phone is kind of tilted on the tripod so i do that and i just kind of i just kind of do my own thing like i let i let the i let my creative juices flow through me Now I am choosing my pictures. So when I take my pictures, I normally have the setting on Lens Buddy to uh, uh, 50 pictures. So I'll do like two or three or even four sessions of 50 pictures. That'll give me at least 100 to 200 to even 250 to 300 pictures to choose from. So now I am editing my pictures in my iPhone slash iPad editor. So I don't really have a specific way I edit. It's really just what works. But I do start off with my um, contrast, black point, and, um, and brightness, I think. No, it's vibrant. So just whichever works. I'll play around with other features, but I mainly play around with the contrast black point and the vibrance so now for the effect that i was trying to do i was trying to do the like 90s 80s glamour shot so before i try to put any kind of vignette on there i'm retouching my blemishes first uh, i don't normally do this i'm normally like a minimal editing girl which this is basically uh, minimal editing but i normally just play around with the iphone editor but y'all, I had on some makeup the day before and my skin was on fire and <laughs> there was, I mean, I'm cute already, but there was absolutely no way I was going to post this without retouching it at least a little bit. So I'm using the smooth tool to just kind of go over my blemishes that I have because like my face normally doesn't look like this, but <sighs> I got to buy some better makeup. <laughs> So now I'm using Smart Blur for that um, 80s slash 90s glamour shot look. And if you look on the internet, I'm going to insert a picture of like what they look like. Um, you can see that it has kind of like a blur to it. Like the pictures aren't entirely clear. This is also because cameras back then weren't so like weren't so good. But now I'm trying to kind of like have that same effect create that same effect so i used the smart blur i played around with the smart blur a little bit and i also played around with i think it was called like the g blur or something like that um i think it was better than the smart blur but for purposes for the this video's purposes uh <laughs> i use the smart blur so i'm playing with it um like i said i don't have a specific i don't have a rhyme or reason as to why i do the certain things that I do it's just whatever works like you know if it if this doesn't work try this out and if you get frustrated try it again so this is the finished product after I planned the pictures did my setup um took my pictures chose my pictures and edited them so if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel all my social media will be down in the description box as well as videos that i have uploaded in the past so with that being said i'll see y'all in my next video